Speed ramping is important when you want to make your video more dynamic, when you want to slow down or speed up a portion of a clip. And it's incredibly easy in DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you how it's done today. Let's go. So this is our clip over here uh, and you can see it's at a constant speed. And what I want to do, I want to speed up the middle portion. For this, you have to click on the mouse, right click and go to time controls or you can press command R. Uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to go to this uh, black triangle here and add a speed point. Okay, and I want to add another speed point where I want the speed to end. Okay, go to this black triangle, add another speed point. Uh, let me quickly uh, explain what these markers are. You see, you've got one here and you've got one here. So this marker has two options. The one on the top changes the speed and the one at the bottom shows you where you want the speed to start or end. Let me show you. So you see, I'm changing now the speed point. I want the speed point to be here or I want it to be here. All right, same here. I want my speed point to end here or to end there, all right? And here at the top, the marker, what it does, it changes the speed. Let me show you. You see, changes the speed to the left of this clip. Okay, let me put it back. And this one here changes the speed to the left again, increases it or decreases it. Pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so what I want to do now, I either I drag it like this to the left and make this portion of the clip faster to let's say 400% or I go to this black triangle here I click on it and I go and change speed manually to let's say 400 you see uh, so the only difference with this one and this one is that when you click on the black triangle you go to change speed you will see that you have only 800% no more when you do it manually from here you can increase the speed to whatever you want, even 2000, okay? Uh, I want it to be somewhere 400. Let me make the timeline a little bit bigger so you can see more. Okay. All right, so we have this at 100 and we have our mill portion at 400. Very nice, very nice, and I have this one at 100. Now, in order for this effect to work, I want to start slowly, so I will have to slow down this portion over here. Let's say 75, okay? Let's see how it looks like. A slowly, boom, very nice, okay? But you can see the transition here is very abrupt. So in order to make it speed ramping, we need to change a few things. Let me quickly show you how it's done. For this, you have to click on your mouse, right click and go to Retime Curve. You see, click on Retime Curve, go over here and you'll see a lot of things going on here. Just don't worry, what we need to do now, you have to go here, Retime Speed and just deselect Retime Frame so it's not going to confuse us. So you'll have only Retime Speed over here, okay? If it's not toggled on, just toggle on the retime speed. That's what we're interested in, in retime speed. All right, so now what we need to do, we need to make this transition a little bit smoother. You see this side over here, you've got 75% and you have this abrupt speed to 400. And then again, you have this abrupt speed down to 100. So what we need to do, we need to make this transition a little bit smoother because basically there's no transition now. It's from 75, goes straight to 400. And it's, it's a little bit like, mm, it doesn't look good to the eye. Now what we need to do, you have to click on this circle over here and go to this, okay, press on it. And you see straight away you have this nice line, nice smooth line. And look at the transition now. We'll start from here. Boom, very nice. Same with the ending. We're gonna go here, press on it, and you see, and actually you can you can you can manage this one. You can make it to your liking, make it more abrupt, or make it much smoother. You just have to drag this two points here, like this, you see, and make it much smoother, you make it much much more abrupt. It depends how you prefer or how it looks like. Let's have a look now. Boom. So cool, so nice. Boom. Fantastic. And then in order to hide this, you just have to click on the mouse, right click, 
with time curve. And then if you want to hide all this again, press command R or go on the mouse and click read time controls. And this is it. And let's watch the clip. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate you being here. I really appreciate you watching my videos. And if you enjoyed this one as well, then please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And why not buy me a coffee if you enjoy what I do on this channel? You know, I love coffee. No more than two a day, though. Uh, but yeah, find the link in the description. And, uh, you know, I will say thank you in the next video for your delicious coffee. Take care. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Happy creation. Bye-bye.